Do you mean? I should clean them. Although, it might be easier to put them outside. Seems it might start raining soon. I meant, what were they used for? Some workers come here and borrowed them from me. They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line, so that the water wouldn't come in too close. Who were these workers? Well, they didn't seem to be from the company, but they was fine lads. They invited me to share a drink, <laughs> and whatever it was, it had a kick to it. They wasn't English. No, I don't believe so. But see, they knew just what a man needed to brighten up his dull evening. Get any peace. handcar wheelbase. Interesting. It appears that elements of the same construction were scattered everywhere. Watson, please tell me, do you believe in magic? Of course not, Holmes. Then you are of the opinion that a train cannot simply disappear? Well, we both know that that is obvious. Why are you asking such peculiar questions? A little patience, Watson. You will understand my point quite soon. So, are you quite certain that you saw the train at Evesham Station? Well, yes, of course. We saw it coming. The headlights and heard the whistle. But that is it. We didn't see the train itself. Oh, uh, but... Oh, Holmes, I'm a little confused.
So, now here we have the fake train that we saw approaching Evesham Station last night. Doesn't look much like a train to me. Be patient, Watson. I haven't finished yet. Try using your imagination. Our train requires only a headlight and a steam whistle. We need to attach a headlight and a steam whistle. The long... The headlight is attached. The steam whistle is now connected. Holmes, what can we do to make the steam whistle work? It is elementary, my dear Watson. We shall need a fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher. Now, let us see what we have here. First of all, let us pump the pressure inside the extinguisher. The steam whistle is ready to be used. Watson, I do believe that we have created an exact replica of the train that vanished in front of us last night. The criminal mind can be most inventive. I am somewhat in awe. So, such a thing is possible. If someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake train, then it was surely with the intention of stealing the real one. Ah, Watson, you should not jump to conclusions. In fact, this does not tell us very much at all except that the train did not evaporate into thin air. Although you half suspected it. Huh. At any rate, we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. I suggest we use my archives to find a more detailed map of our surroundings. Well, I hope that justifies our having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab. It made us extremely unpopular with our driver.
Ah, oh, will I ever get any peace? Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Here it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham, and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham station. This suitcase contains my... 